Now we are covering schools. It's hard to believe summer vacation is almost over. Kids will be heading back to class in just days, and the start of the school year will be very different for some students in Providence. You may remember budget woes forced the city to close four schools at the end of the school year in June. Tonight we sit down with the acting superintendent to find out how the officials are preparing as students get ready to go back to school. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Bito is live in the studio with more. Getting a district of classrooms ready for the new school year is always considered a challenge, but not a, but not a district in the state had to do what Providence is trying to do. When you reassign 1,500 students, close four schools, and renovate another school, there is no summer vacation. We're on Susan Lucy left Portsmouth for Providence, wanting the challenge of running an urban district, and she got it. But uh, we are well underway, and we'll be fully ready to open the doors on uh, a week from Tuesday morning. One of the biggest hurdles was converting Bridgham Middle School into an elementary school for the students who used to go to now closed a semester. As you open a building for younger students, you need to do things like lower sinks, uh, lower blackboards. Another big issue was reconfiguring the bus routes for the 1,500 students who are changing schools and meeting the demands of parents whose children were attending successful schools near their homes. So if a student left a school that was more highly performing, we could not necessarily assign them to their neighborhood school. Lucy credits the city's emergency management agency director with helping the district make all of these changes in one summer. Walt Butel, Eyewitness News.